we have got Brett Berry. Brett, you there, buddy? I am here. Good to meet you all. <laughs> so good. It's been awesome. It's been wonderful. Like you're saying, it's been so worshipful. I've just been being ministered to here. And, Isn't it great? Um, yeah, man. We got uh, Chris, you, Christina. Thank you for <laughs> all you're doing here. And, and Jerry and Chi, Chi, yeah, and Lisa. And is it was it Natalia and Brighton? Is that your names uh, playing piano last just last there? The ones who just played. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it was wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you for being a part. I know. Um, let's see. You, I mixed you up with somebody earlier. I said somebody had been playing for three decades and you are actually the one who has been touring for three decades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been doing it for a while. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, great. So you, I know you're, you're an artist, a speaker, a director of worship. And I think you need to add one other thing in there. You need to put technician because you <laughs> actually are I, I am a technician that is true i i do that um i do that <laughs> yeah, yeah well, i tutor and mentor and 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 the build systems and that kind of stuff so i've been been the technical director at our church just overseeing it we've got a guy as well but yeah that's kind of my thing studio work and and i've been doing that just for many years you know how funny. See, I didn't know any of that, but just that little bit that you did tonight, I was like, man, he, he's got technical support down, down to a pattern right there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It's, it's a blessing and a curse at times, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, at least no, you can do it. So at least anywhere you go, you know, you're going to be good. And that's how I got into it. You know, when I started touring, I would find myself going, wow, it's just not sounding the quite the way it could. And so I started learning about EQ and then just different aspects, compression and all those things as we went along. And so I'd go into a, a room or whatever, if this, if it was, if I didn't have my own sound man, that kind of thing. So found myself just doing that. And, and then I ended up, um, you know, wanting to, re when I started recording, got in the studio and, and for years and, and uh, always had an interest in how did you get it to sound like that? So got into it that way lot for mostly in the studio and then took that live and so forth so that's so great though i mean that's a um as an artist and a speaker in any of that capacity like that that's huge as you know that's huge so that's awesome yeah, it, it helps it does help if you especially if you care you know i mean it's like some people don't hear it and they don't care and and you, you get a good guy and or a good gal mixing or whatever and and you come out and everything's fine but i just i'm one of those guys i hear it and i care and so you know, sometimes I get in the way and sometimes I help. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Well, what are you starting us out with this evening? Yeah, uh, I, you know, I just love that song about identity. You know, I just, uh, this is a song called I Live on Your Holy Hill. And it's a new thing that we just just uh, recorded and have just, just getting it mixed right now. And it's just about that, um, you know, being in the, working in the church for so many years um, and just being a student of theology and, and just a, a person who wants to hear from God and, and talk to God. And, um, and I was really convicted that there's this, as, I, as I, I see this progression through scripture, you know, some would call it these different dispensations of where God shows up, reveals himself, man learns about him, and then there's something else that happens and something else that happens. And those things build upon one another. And where I believe we are at right now, uh, that's why your song about identity was um, just really ministered to me. Um, that's been on my heart for the past 20 years is just is identity. You know, who are we in Christ? Is there a difference? In fact, I think one of the one of the heart things or one of the key things about our identity is the question I ask is what we hope for or is there more of what we hope for that's actually supposed to be present reality? Or do I or how do I say this? Do I place things in the future hope category? in my thinking about God that are actually supposed to be in the present reality category. And so one of those has to do with our confession. Am I, when, I, when I speak about even myself, do I see me the way God sees me? And what I mean by that is do, when I talk about who I am spiritually, do I, am I prophesying? In other words, agreeing with God, even if I, so, so in other words, we all fall, we all mess up, but am I falling forward? Am I falling toward God when I mess up or am I falling away? Am I, am I running from something or am I running towards something? Am I wrestling towards something? And so this song is about that. And it just affirms, you know, I write for the church. Um, this would be a song 
Um, I write to the church and I write for the church. And this would be a song uh, for the church. It's a song that can be sung corporately. And it's called I Live on Your Holy Hill. It's based out of uh, Psalm 112. Let me think here. There's, there's several different um, scriptural um, references in it or, or, or uh, points of origin, if you will, in it. Um, got us out of Psalm 24 and then Psalm 112. So here we go. I live on your holy hill for you have made me blameless. I live on your holy hill for you have called me yours. So I will run and not grow tired. I will walk and not be faint. In righteousness I am restored. And your command will be my guide. Your delight will be my strength. Dwelling in the presence of the Lord. Because I live on your major cold and flu thing and i'm losing it right now i'm just going ah so if i if i if it goes away it's it's still in my heart you know so if it goes away it's okay i got you <laughs> yeah, i'll try not to have a coughing fit here i've still got 
just on the tail end of this chest, you know, you breathe and you want to cough kind of thing. So, yeah. Oh, well, major props to you that you're, uh, you're pushing through it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, with... <laughs> amen. Amen. Oh, awesome. So, so you're part of your worship team and a part of some outreach. It looks like, yeah. um, yeah. is there any specific, is it just worship or is it? Well, no, I, you know, I write, I, um, my wife and I have a ministry called Inseparable Lives. Okay. And uh, then we also have another, um, we've home educated our kids for years and she's, uh, she's written a book on home education and, and she's studying for her doctorate right now on, in just, um, it's uh, just really, again, identity, but having to do, because there's a lot of gender dysphoria stuff going on. And so she's really focused on that and helping parents, especially in the homeschool realm through with that um, challenge. And uh, so that's called the Home Educated Mind. So the homeeducatedmind.com is a ministry that we have. And um, Inseparable Lives is kind of our parent ministry. And that's where, you know, but then just me, Brett Berry, is my songwriter. So I write, you know, again, for the church, but I write, I tend to write out of, um, you know, again, being a theolo theolo I guess a closet theologian, if you will, I really um, believe that how we think about God. I mean, Jesus said to the Sadducees, he said, he said, you are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. But he also said, you think you have salvation because you study the scriptures. So there's this kind of, what's the deal there? You know, so the point being is it's important to be in the word, to know what God has said so that we can be pretty clear or more clear about what he is saying. You know, so anyway, so my song wise, my, my focus tends to be on I'm wrestling my confession, wrestling my understanding, and just wrestling, just just kind of perspectives on what I see, where I'm at, um, what I what I see in the church. So I might write about something if I hear theology that's like, eh, I don't see how it fits that way. I might write about that, or but I tend to want to write prophetically in the sense of of us who God is calling us to be in Him. He says we're ministers of reconciliation, and we're called to be ambassadors. We are ambassadors of Christ, given the ministry of reconciliation. And in that process, again, when we mess up, we can get so focused on ourselves that that can really dampen the effectiveness of what God has called us to. He says there's good works prepared in advance for us to do. He's appointed the exact times and places that we should live. So there's this thing that God's got, and we have a part in it. And so I just really tend to write about that. This is this is a song called um, "You Alone," and uh, it's just a it's a morning came out of a morning prayer time. Just um, so, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, <coughs> I got to mute for a second here. I got where's my mute button? Oh, can you do us one little favor? Can you um, also turn? Oh, excuse me. Can you turn okay. down here your uh, Can you turn down your volume on Zoom just a little bit? Whenever you're hitting some of the louder notes, it kind of oh, it's distorting some. Oh, sorry, not to cut you off there, but I'm sorry, mine's distorting some. Yeah, on Zoom. Hmm. So if you could just turn down the mic a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to see here. Let me just back this whole thing down. I'm not running through Zoom. I mean, I'm running through Zoom, but yeah. um, let's see here. Let's see. Is that any better? Let's see. How's that? It's when you start to get loud. It kind of out. What's that? It's when you start to get a little bit louder. It's... Yeah, I'll back off the mic too. Is it my vocal mostly? Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll back off the mic a little bit when I get louder, a little bit more. Okay, so this is uh, you alone. And I will too. 
take my stand than rise in truth and I wait oh I wait oh I will You really do have such a just chill vibe. <laughs> well, thank you. Good. I can tell my wife I'm chill. <laughs> yeah, chill vibe. Very cool. Somebody else actually said that in there, like, um, just like, just a very, you know, just a really cool, what was it? Um, Lisa was talking about it, one of your vibes, but anyways, oh, I'll have to find it. You'll have to look in the, <laughs> in all the messages. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 
Um, you are still getting a little bit of feedback on um, your guitar. I'm not sure what's happening over there. So I know is it you... is it distorting? Is it is it too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I so. think what's going on is we've had this with Zoom before. If you turn down the Zoom volume just a little bit, it should fix that. Yeah, the Zoom volume. I, I'm not seeing my. Let me see it, here. It's on the on the Zoom. It's on the upper on the bottom left of your mute. Okay. Let's see here. And then there's audio settings. Yeah. Um, oh, shoot. You know what? Oh. And then your microphone. This whole thing. You got to be kidding. Okay, so that's separate. Uh, I see what's going on. Is that any different? Now we can't hear it at all. Uh -huh. Can't hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you hear my there guitar? You. Are you hearing my guitar? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see what's going on here. So I, I was, uh, okay, we should be better. Wow. That was going, that whole thing was, sorry, it's going through the wrong thing. Yeah, you're totally good. Okay, good. Yeah, so I, I didn't really have control that I thought I did here. So, okay. <laughs> See, that's better. And so it's not distorting now? Okay, it's not doing yeah. what it was doing? Sounds no, good. you're good now. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> great, great. Awesome. Awesome, okay. Well, I'll just do, uh, if I can get my voice last one more time. Another one. Got this. Yeah, we'll see. This is a, I don't, I'll see if I got some lyrics here. This one's new to me. I've been working on it for a while, but this is just based out of a, Joshua and Caleb and um, you know I, I, like, as you mentioned earlier uh, Christina is it Christina is that right did I get that right yeah um, I've been doing this for a while and so you know um, I'm, I'm less young than I used to be but 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 my heart is still very passionate in fact my passion is growing and I noticed Jerry he's got the unction there I said he's got that passion thing going on I thought oh, that's good good but I was noticing, you know, Joshua and Caleb, and it hit me that, you know, Joshua in his youth had old man's wisdom. And then Caleb in his elder years had young man's fire. And so this song is called Old Man's Wisdom and Young Man's Fire. And it's just a, just a, a kind of a life pursuit, a life song here. So let's see if I can get this lyric up here. <laughs> Hunger for your presence Kept Joshua lingering inside After each and every rendezvous Between the holy and divine Actually, after each and every rendezvous Between the human and divine Captivated by your glory, purpose gripped his young heart deep inside. Faithfulness to follow you would be the all consuming mark upon his life. He had old man's wisdom rising up. treasure he had found holy consecration was his deepest heart's desire he had old man's wisdom and young man's fire now even after four years of wandering for other sphere of giants in the land Caleb was true to every word you spoke confident your promises would stand now eager at the river's edge chiseled for the future 
future by his path With the vigor of a youthful man He rose to take the plunder from their hands He had all man's wisdom Rising up to anchor him down He had young This treasury he found Holy consecration Was his deepest heart's desire He had old man's wisdom A young man's fire A young man's fire Spin me how you want to Use a fully what is yours Until this race it has been won And we cast off from the shore May my life somehow inspire The next to your The next young heart on humble knee That you be truly glorified And it be said of me Yet old man's wisdom Rise enough to anchor him down. He had young man's fire to guard the prize, this treasure he had found. Holy consecration was his deepest heart's desire. Very cool. Um, that chorus. It's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank Powerful. You. Praise God. Well. Wow. Very cool. Well, great, great I'm job sitting. this evening. Um, we are kind of cutting it close on our time, but um, and I'm sure your voice, you're probably ready to take a break. We're good. <laughs> How can we find you? Brettberry.com. B-R-E-T-T-B-A-R-R-Y.com. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys. Red. And Red, thanks so much for let, having me in and, and just Lord bless you, all of you. Thank you for your contribution, your writing and your gifting and, and for doing unto the Lord. And thank you, Christina. Bless you.